see anything from them thus far during training camp or this season or you know, limited game action? You know, what do you know about their game? Um, I, mean, that's, I don't know a lot. Um, I know they both work extremely hard. I know, uh, you know, Jetty knows how to play the game. Um, he can pass, can move without the ball. Very aggressive. Defensively, he's pretty, you know, pretty good. He's still, both of them still need to learn, you know, the systems and, and learn the NBA game. But um, and Z's a big body, um, you know, very physical. Uh, you know, so. The Lord like day out here working. Uh, might get their opportunity very soon with the with the injuries that we've had and with the injury to double T, so we'll see what happens. What comes to mind when you think of the history between you, the Cavaliers, and the Wizards? Uh I don't know. I don't really get involved in the history of things, man. Not with me. I kinda like to be staying the present and try to figure out what I can do to be better today. Um, I could sit here for a long time talking about, you know, kind of the rivalry that I used to have with this team and this franchise, but that's, those are years and years ago, so I don't want to get into that. Rob, you're 15 years in now, and these rookies who wore your shoes growing up, mm-hmm. and the fans of you growing up, what does it mean to you when you hear guys talk about it? Yes, what's the Um, and that's an honor, you know, um, you know, to see, you know, guys wearing my shoes or young guys talking about, you know, me being, being an inspiration to them. and. You know, it's also a tribute to my to, to myself and me still being in this league, you know, and still being able to do it at a high level, you know, 15 years later. So, um, you know, anytime I get an opportunity to see some of the younger guys, watch those guys play, the guys in the league now, um, you know, you know they, they looked at me as inspiration, they use me as inspiration, it means a lot because that's, that's part of my, it's always been part of my job, you know, even without even knowing that, I felt like that was always a part of, you know, me. Um, being a part of this league to be able to give the next kid an, an, an opportunity to give him hope that he can make it to this point as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I used uh, I used a, a few guys in this league when I was coming up, uh, you know, in, in, in high school and grade school, you know, for inspiration and, uh, you know, um, you know, without them even knowing, uh, they, they definitely helped me out. Um, I've actually been pretty good. I mean, I've been pretty good. I think the team has been okay. Um, I wasn't that great after you know the last last game, but that was the immediate reaction from guys coming into the locker room. Yeah, of course. Jason sees me all the time. You know, I got like I got like three wives, man. Jason, David, and this guy right here. So. <laughs> And Joe is about three wives and, you know, away from my wife. They know me, so whatever. Would you agree? I'm like the three stooges always in my, life. my household, man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we got to. <laughs> we're not worried about the end of the season right now, and uh, you know we're, we're definitely struggling right now, which is. I mean, which is okay. I, mean, I feel that we would have, we would struggle at some point throughout the season. I think it's surprising to all of us that it's happening right now, but hey, it is what it is. And, you know, it's uh, exciting to see how we can, uh, you know, turn this thing around. Now, you know, the injury to Tristan, that's a big blow for us, but, you know, we have guys that have to step up in this absence. And we have guys that's been in the lineup that we all need to play better, you know, and step up our own individual games too. So. Um, it's going to be a good challenge for us. I mean, a Friday night playing against the Wizards, you know, they get very excited to play uh, us, and they, they're always excited to play, especially in, their, in front of their home fans. So, be a good test for us. How much do you attribute yeah. their early struggles to just newness, chemistry, just trying to get familiar? I mean, it's a little bit of everything. Um, it's a combination of uh, us not playing well as a team, uh, us not playing well as individuals, um, you know, us having seven new guys as well. Um, you know, me missing training camp for the most part, and not being able to lead the group like I'm, like I've grown accustomed to doing. Um, so it's a little bit of everything, you know. And I was trying to figure out, you know, figure out each other. You know, uh, we got a lot of new guys that's been in the rotation. Um, you know, D Wade, JG, uh, D Rose, uh, you know, J. Uh, you know, so uh, you know, so it's so always trying to, you know, trying to figure it out. Uh, you know, figuring out guys, you know, likes, dislikes, you know, the pros and cons, things of that nature that can always best fit our team. And uh, oh, not let me forget Jose as well, so who's, who's played um, as well at times. So I uh, just try to figure that out.
The Wizards have uh, two young players on the wing, and Kelly Oubre and Otto Porter. What stands out about them? Uh, well, first of all, you can't give uh, Otto Porter no daylight these days. In the last couple of years, he shot the ball extremely well, especially from the perimeter, which has ultimately created a lot of uh, opportunity and space for John. You know, which uh, which is great for John. Um, he's worked on this game extremely well, um, and he's earned the the big paycheck that he got. Um, and I worked out with Kelly this summer with John a couple of times, and I just it's all about confidence for him. And I think right now his his He's getting the opportunity from the coach, and he's just trying to seize the opportunity and just trying to make the most of it. After last night's game or the other night's game, and this is the worst stretch, four-game stretch of your career in terms of point differential. Yeah. Does it feel like that to you emotionally, like these four games? Does it feel like this is the toughest stretch of your career or something like that? No, no, it hasn't. No, no, no way. Um, I knew I knew that was the case as far as you know for my career the, the point differential, but it definitely doesn't feel like that. Uh, my rookie year, I don't know uh, how many games we won or lost in a row, but there was really no there's no bright spot saying that oh we're going to make the playoffs or we compete for a championship or there you go or my first year in Miami where we had a six game home stand I believe and we went one and five you know and uh, you know feel like the whole world was caving in on us you know from the outside so uh, no no this is definitely doesn't feel like that. speaking of Miami did you catch what Dwayne had to say yesterday about your last year in Miami together um, I did not he mentioned that um, that fourth year he said I don't know how we made it because it's just kind of a staleness that, that crept in um, do you is that an issue here? Um, no, I don't think it's a staleness because we have so many fresh new faces, fresh bodies. Um, I think that um, it's going to be challenging on you know the guys uh, that's been here for the last few years to, to continue to try to motivate themselves to want to get back to get back to the finals. And um, you know that's that's always the challenging thing. You've done it three straight years or you know, certain guys two straight years, then <clears throat> you know, complacency can sometimes creep in or or you know the um, you know the short summers and things of that nature where you feel like you can turn it on when you want to. So you gotta figure out a way to try to motivate yourself to get back to that top you know that top level of uh, you know game. You know so I mean I know I know what my mind is. I mean I've done it seven straight years so you know I know how to get back into the flow of things and know how to you know, mentally prepare myself for the long haul. So, you know, um, 